A 17-year-old in El Dorado was killed last year, just days before beginning his senior year of high school. The family spoke to NBC10's Gabrielle Pfeiffer about how they're turning that tragedy into something positive. Octavius Critton Jr. had big plans to attend a college this year after graduation, but that came to an abrupt end after his life was cut short due to gun violence. If Tay was here, Tay was going to go to college, oh, yeah. and, and all of us know that. It's been nearly six months since the teen was shot and killed five days after his birthday and two days before his senior year of high school. His death still lays heavy on those he left behind. Every day you think it's getting better, but it's getting worse. It's no telling what he would have went on to become, mm -hmm. you know, had that that incident not happened. Since he's not here, the family wants to make sure others can reach their full potential. There is a there is a need to bring light to it and also a need um, for us to try to preserve the life of someone else. With that in mind, the family along with Empire Properties plan to help students toward their goals. They will be awarding three five hundred dollar scholarships to deserving seniors. We talked about a desire for our family to support you know, other students that look just like Tay, um, that are from those same backgrounds and the same neighborhood, just like we are as a family. And as a final message to those still living. Put your mind on something. Put love in your heart. The family says not only will this help students pursue their dreams, but it will help the family and the community keep Tay alive in their hearts. In El Dorado, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, NBC10, your local news leader. Tay's killer is still at large. There is a $2,000 reward for information that can lead to an arrest. If you would like to learn more about the scholarship, you can head to our website, myarklamist.com.